Thank you for visiting this video segment of Dr. AFib. I'm Dr. Morales. Today we're going to be talking about obesity, weight loss, and how it can influence your atrial fibrillation. Now, obesity is a big problem in the United States and worldwide, and it influences a lot of health conditions. People with obesity are much more likely to develop high blood pressure, diabetes, sleep apnea, as well as heart disease and heart disease which can also include atrial fibrillation. Now obesity can influence or increase your risk for getting atrial fibrillation in a variety of ways. One, like I said, it increases your, your risk of developing high blood pressure, diabetes, sleep apnea, and all those are risk factors for developing atrial fibrillation. However, the obesity itself has been determined that it can also influence you developing atrial fibrillation. Uh, fat cells have been found that they can increase and secrete hormones including inflammatory hormones which can also in themselves increase the risk of atrial fibrillation. Now for many years now doctors have advised overweight patients who develop atrial fibrillation to lose weight. Uh, and it's been emphasized for a while now, however in 2015 there was a very important clinical trial uh, called the Legacy Trial which really helped to emphasize to doctors and patients why weight loss is such an important feature for the management of atrial fibrillation. And in that study, over 1,000 patients were studied over a five-year period, so it was studied for several years, and they found that patients who lost over 10% of their body weight had over six-fold improvement in their atrial fibrillation. And many of those patients uh, were free of atrial fibrillation who lost a significant amount of weight. Not to say that everybody who loses weight is going to be completely free of atrial fibrillation, but it can dramatically improve your burden and your symptoms. And so the takeaway of that very important clinical trial shows that one, weight loss is a very important feature of managing patients with atrial fibrillation and it can incredibly improve your symptoms and the frequency of your symptoms with weight loss. Two, this is a long term uh, situation in order to be able to improve atrial fibrillation. Weight loss should never be a quick fix. It is something that takes time. It may take even years to reduce weight and get you to the goal weight that you want to be at. But clearly, reducing weight can have a significant improvement in your amount of atrial fibrillation. It is an, it is an important treatment strategy for the long-term management of patients with atrial fibrillation. Now, losing weight is easy to, easier said than done. Uh, there are many guidelines that people may need and advice people may need in order to be able to lose that weight, which I'm going to be talking about in my next segment when I talk about exercise and atrial fibrillation. Thank you for visiting this video segment of Dr. AFib. I'll see you next time.